All right, we're going to make the batter for the two to a mix. Yeah. So we've got some flour. Do you want me to do some work? Yep, yeah, I want you to make the batter. <laughs> OK. A <laughs> little bit of baking powder in there as well. Yep. And then we're going to whisk in the eggs. So we want a nice sort of, um, I'm going to show you the consistency after. So okay. sort of so keep thick. whisking? Yeah, keep yep. whisking gently. Don't, okay. It's all measured <laughs> out. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to whisk the eggs in. So, so we want a nice consistency, sort of thickish batter, uh, but no lumps. That's the key. Okay. Oh, now you put the pressure on. Yeah, so pressure, Mark hates pressure me in the is, kitchen. Pressure is on. <laughs> it's like wind's mail coming over. <laughs> all right, so just as you're going to get that. Um, so nice and smooth. So, so we'll get the eggs in first. We'll get yeah. it nice and smooth, and then we'll just loosen it with a little bit of milk just to get consistency. Okay. Okay. So as you're doing that, we're just going to chop some onions. So, hey, hey, Mark. Yeah. It's the year 2016. I thought we had machines that did this. <laughs> yeah, they're called chefs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is looking actually. There you go. Good. No, it's actually yeah. looking really yep, good. There you go. Yeah, nice and smooth. Hey, yeah, you've been practicing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. right, so just gonna put a splash. Splash your milk in and we'll just add yep. a little bit in because you can always add, you can't take it away. Right. So a little bit more. And this yeah. is the better for what? For the fritters? Yeah, for the cool. fritters. So once you've got all the milk mixed in, you can add the prawns and the tuatua. -tua. And then we'll add the onions. I've got to admit, I've, go. I've never tasted a tuatua -tua before. Oh, you'll taste one after, it's awesome. What's it taste like? Uh, <laughs> clammy. Clammy, okay. <laughs> Right, okay, I think my bed is looking... Yeah, no, that's yeah. awesome, that's awesome. Right, get the prawns in, the two or two are in. Okay, cool. We've just got a bit of chilli in there as well. Just going to chop up. This is a good classic New Zealand meal, this, isn't it? Yeah, this is great, and if you, especially if you go out at the weekend and, you know, you go down to the beach and you catch the two twos yourself. Mm. or forage for them. So a little, little bit of corn in there as well. Okay. And a little bit of coriander. So just going to pick some of that, just roughly chop it. And then we just need to season it with some salt and pepper. Okay, I can do that. You want to do that? Is that enough? Yep, beautiful. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Yep. Here we go. Awesome. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. So it's looking great. This is going to be good. Tomorrow, yeah. Saturday, I'll be whipping some of these up, actually. Yeah, really simple, really fast. And then all you'd need to do, I mean, you can put any ingredients you want in here, you know, your favourite ingredients, pop them in. You know, if you don't like two or two, just use prawns or mussels or white bay, anything you want. Right, so, nice hot pan, a little bit of olive oil. Just let that sort of warm up. And then get a nice spoon. Oh, I hope this works, I did the better. Oh, there you go. Okay, so a couple, couple of spoons on top of each other. So you want that sort of pan nice and hot, so as it's sort of falling, it's setting as well. If the pan's not hot and you'll pop the batter mix in, it'll just go really thin. Like a pancake. Exactly. Yeah, we want a bit of texture towards this. So where originally are you from? Uh, just outside Manchester. So in New Zealand, we always talk about our seafood, and I know that we really <laughs> love our seafood here. <laughs> Is it as good as we make out? <laughs> no, it's actually really good. Okay. Like, I love the seafood over here. Uh, the closest okay. thing we had to seafood in Manchester, well, Blackpool, was their crab sticks. Right, OK. Yeah, which which <laughs> okay. weren't the best. <laughs> you spoiled um, for choice here, then. <laughs> yeah, so obviously a lot more seafood in New Zealand now. So we're just going to keep that on a medium heat. You can see it's sort of bubbling away, and we're just going to keep an eye on that. All right. And you'll see it's just going to start setting, it's going to start colouring. So maybe a minute, minute and a half on each side, we'll flip it over and we're just going to sort of prod it just to make sure it's not too soft in the middle because we want this batter to be cooked. Nice. Well, that was nice and easy, that first process. Of course, the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. <laughs> but Mark always puts his lovely finishing touches on it. So we're going to come back, we're going to find out more about how these are finished off very soon, Mark. Certainly are. Nice work. Over to you, Mel.